Hello, good people, and welcome to Finder Skills Hub. Here, yeah, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Year over year analysis is a useful financial calculation that allows us to compare what we call time series data. So, if you have data that contains amounts or sales for two years, with this calculation, you can compare the most current year's performance to previous. In this short video, I'm going to give you three options to calculate this. So the first one, we are going to use regular pivot tables to do this. Then we'll learn how to use DAX to do that. And then finally, I'll save you with the cube formula option as well. So if you're a game, join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. Okay, so we start off with this simple sales data. This is already an Excel table. I've named it data. It contains two years of data. So if you look in my date column, you realize I have 2020 and 2019. My goal is to calculate the year over year percentage change to compare sales for 2019 and 2020. So I'll begin standing anywhere in my table. I'll go to insert pivot table, right? So here I have the option to place it in an existing worksheet. So I'll place it here in H5. Okay, and then because I'm going to be using the data model and DAX, I'll add this to the data model as well. And then I click OK. So now that we have this, you can now proceed and then create your year over year change using regular pivot tables. So I learned this trick from fellow Excel MVP, Mr. Excel. So here, the basic idea is to take your sales value to the value section, gives you the aggregate sales. And then you can take your dates to the row section. Okay, so here it breaks it down into daily records. You have the option to select any of these dates. So you can select any of these dates, right click, and then you group at any date level. So here I have months, and then I can select years as well. Okay, so when I click OK, this is going to present it in a month year format if you look closely in the rows area you realize you have three fields here this these extra fields were created using the pivot table cache so I have year month and the original date okay I'm going to drag out the date field okay and then take the year to the column section so when I do that I now have a split 2019 2020 okay so at this point, I can go to Grand Total, go to the Design tab of the Pivot Table, and then switch off for Rows and Column. Okay, so I have 2019 and 2020 here. Next up, what we are going to do is to take the Sales field, okay, and then drag it to the Value section a second time. Okay, so what this does is it duplicates the sales for you, 2019, 2020. Once this is done, you can select the last of the 2020, the current year, any cell in here. Right click and then show values as. You have some options here. So which will show it as percentage difference from. Okay, so I have this dialog box. Because I'm doing year over year, I will choose the base field as year and then base item as previous. When I click OK, so it calculates these changes for me. Now, because 2019 doesn't have a previous year, okay, I have a blank. So I can highlight this, right click, and then hide this. Okay, so this is using regular pivot tables. So I can now highlight this if it helps, and then apply conditional formatting data bars. Okay, so that you see which years or which months we had a positive change and which ones we did not. So this is for the first option. Now let's proceed and then use DAX and the data model to create the same report. So to do that, I'm going into the Power Pivot tab. This already has my data model. Okay, so I'm going into Manage. Okay, so in Manage, you see my data model. This is the original sales data. In the data model, you can create a calendar table. Okay, using this date table feature so under design this will create 
a calendar table from the earliest to the latest date okay so i will use this feature go to new and then i have this new calendar table reason i'm creating this is to have access to the direct year and month labels okay so with this created i can now switch to my home tab and then in the diagram view okay i now have my two tables the calendar which i just created and then my original sales data i need to connect these two tables using the common column dates okay so i'll take this date which has the unique dates and then drag it to my original date column in the sales data so i've created a one to many relationship here now this is going to be useful when i am filtering okay so now that i have this let's proceed and calculate our measures so essentially i'm going to calculate total sales and then once i'm done i'll calculate the previous year sales and then from these two calculate my percentage change so standing here i'll go to measures start off a new measure okay and i'm going to name this total sales okay so total sales is simply going to be a sum of the sales data okay so i have this here so i'll check formula to be sure everything is okay i can format this using a thousand separator okay and then i'll click okay okay so this is added to my pivot table so i'll start a new calculation so new measure now because i already have total sales calculated i can now calculate previous year sales so i'll name this previous year sales i'm going to use the dax function calculate okay so calculate takes an expression and that expression is the total sales that i just did okay to go back in time i'm going to use another function called same period last year and all it requires is the calendar date column okay so i'll just push this here okay and then i'll close for same period last year close for calculate i'll check my formula to be sure everything is okay so format this as a thousand separator as well and then i'll click okay so this already is here so i have two total sales and previous year the final thing i'm going to do is to calculate the year over year percentage change so i'll start a new measure name this year over year change okay so simply this is going to be my total sales divided by my previous sales minus one okay and then i'll format this as a percentage right again i can check if everything is okay and then i'll click okay so with these three measures okay i can now recreate this pivot table so standing anywhere go to insert and then insert the pivot table directly from my data model now okay i'll place this in the existing worksheet okay now for the month labels i already have access to my calendar so in the more fields you see that i have my month labels here so i'll take this into my rows so i have this in my row section okay then i also have year so i'll push that directly into my columns okay and then i will now put my total sales which i calculated here in the value section okay so i now have these calculations of course i can now take off my grand total so i'll go take off my grand total and then i'll come and then populate my percentage change which is already a measure so here i can take this and then push it in the value section so let me just put this side by side okay so i have the same numbers but for the 2019 where i don't have the previous year i get an error you can fix this so i'll go back to my power pivot okay manage my measures and then edit this year on year percentage change so i can say that if this results in an error so i'll say if error okay comma nothing here okay so check my formula 
everything is okay and then i'll click okay so when i close this you realize i now have a blank i can now right click and then hide as i did so you may have a situation where you need to calculate directly using dax so this also gives us the same report okay so i can again apply the same conditional format Control c highlight this range Control alt v apply format using t and then i have this now let's go to the last option which is my favorite gives you a bit more flexibility so with q formulas you can just create your month labels so i have my month labels here january and then drag this down to december right and then create my year labels 2019 2020 and then my percentage change here so with this layout you can now calculate using cube formulas i'm going to use the cube value okay so it basically returns an aggregated value from the data model or a cube so first you use a double quote to call the data model okay you bring a comma and then you call your measure so the measure in this case is going to be total sales also with a double quote I bring a dot and then I have my total sales here okay now this total sales has to be drilled down at month level and then year level okay so to do that I'll bring a comma and then bring a double quote now these labels exist in the calendar table the one we created so I'll call the calendar table bring a dot to drill down to month okay and then another dot now in the month column I have January so I'll bring a square bracket okay a double quote and then bring an ampersand to join this label okay because I want to copy down I'll lock this using F4 at column level okay and then I'll close using an ampersand and then a double quote and enclosing square bracket so usually that is the expression to link it to a variable cell okay so this will provide the month label it's the same expression for the year okay so we'll go to the calendar again bring a dot okay and then we'll call the year okay then bring a dot then open a square bracket double quotes ampersand this time around i'm joining it with this label so f4 f4 to lock this at row level okay and then finish it off with an ampersand double quote close your square bracket double quote okay so this is going to give us the same calculation as we had for 2019 and january so i'll enter okay so if i have to compare realize i have the same numbers here okay so i'm going to copy this Control D, okay, to copy this down. Control R to copy this down, right? Okay, so in calculating our percentage year over year change, what we can do is copy this formula to the right. So essentially, it's the same formula, but just that this has to go back to 2020, okay? And then our measure instead of total sales is going to be the year on year sales. So that's the only thing I'm changing here. Okay, so I'm going to take the year on year change okay and then I have that so I can now copy this down okay and then you see that if I copy Control C highlight this Control Alt V paste special T for format and then I click OK now we've been able to achieve the same thing so this is just to give you options so if you want to use cube formulas you can use this method if you want to use dax and the data model you can use this method and if you want to use regular pivot tables you can also use this method so please practice and add it to your list of excel skills thanks for watching if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send add to this whatsapp number We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching